and welcome back. Two of these in a row. Tends to happen with Zelda randomizers, because I just, I, I love them so much. Let's see how much more we can get through of this today. What is that little... I'm seeing like a, a line at the bottom of the screen. I wonder what that is. I, I noticed it in the previous, uh, previous recording as well. Maybe it's just a little, uh, some, something to do with dolphin, I guess. So, uh, recap. Hello, Darian. What do we have? We have the iron boots. We have the Deku leaf. We found a sword. We were very lucky to find a sword first stream. We have bombs. We have the power gauntlets. We have the, uh, we have a bottle and the hero's mask, which on Ganon is the crown. So we got a lot of stuff, stream one. This has been a very, it was a very fortunate stream one, which means we're due for a lot of bad luck this stream, I'm sure. Oh, and the shield. Which was not previously uh, scrambleable. I think the most recent version added the ability to scramble the shield. And we found that pretty much immediately. It's nice in here. There's no seawater. It's a castle. Monsters. I just want the whole world to be like this. That one chest was actually all that we could do down here. I don't remember what it was. I, th I think it was... I think it was something... of value. But uh, we haven't even completed one... like, run through the Great Sea yet. Which, usually, when I, I have done these randomizers off-stream, I end up doing, like, two or three sweeps of the entire map is what it ultimately takes. Granted, I usually, when I did them off stream, when I had all the time in the world, I had, uh, I would usually use even more intense settings. Like I would include the, the C charts and the Triforce pieces. So maybe this won't be so bad. Where are we going? We're starting at the Tower of the Gods and we're heading to Six Eye Reef. Which we can actually do everything here now. I thought each of these reefs had a chest. Maybe they all don't. Maybe only some of them have chests. Or... No, I think there's like things you have to do to spawn the chests, is how it works. Things such as destroying gunboats. Hello, gunboat. Some cannons. Just firing at walls all day. This is some very impressive stone. So loud in here. How do you deal with this noise all day? Ow. This one island is the one thing I vividly remember from this game. They kind of, they scale in difficulty. The dice, the die islands. God, I also keep pressing the wrong button. So we're doing the hardest one first. Oh, there's a boat shooting at me. That's probably the one that's hitting me the most. Let's just get right up in its face. It won't dare shoot at this distance. I will, though. 
I'm a crazy motherfucker. I don't even have to aim, I just have to get in and mash the bomb button. Is that it? Or are there more? Did I miss any? some of the outside I didn't get. Hello, boats. Maybe not. So I thought... Once I take out all of those, a chest should spawn. Meaning either there's not an animation for the chest, or more likely I just missed some missed one somewhere. I think it would be on that island right there. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna find the thing and have to walk all the way back to the boat. Thought that was a cannon, it was just the thunder. Did it glitch? Oh, there it is. Alright, well, technically, I can get it from here. doesn't have a... It doesn't have a... It doesn't have, like, a, a land on it. There we go. Right, where was that? Yeah, that's the one I thought it was on. So is that Ganon's symbol? A big pig nose? I feel like the tone of the character changed pretty dramatically once we entered the realm of 3D and were introduced to Ganondorf. He was such a cartoony looking villain in the first couple Zeldas. Even though they tried to treat him like a serious villain, he just, he didn't look like one. Hmm. Alright. Six eye reef item. What do we got, rupees? Uh, okay, spoils. feels like I should be talking more. But another part of me says, you know what, it's okay to have a chill stream. That's kind of what I went into these expecting. 
A lot of quiet. A lot of just sailing. I like how he was portrayed in the Zelda tar cartoon. That was kind of in the middle. I mean, he was cartoony, given what the cartoon was, but in terms of design, he was like a, a slightly scarier-looking humanoid pig. Or monster. I never watched the Zelda cartoon. I think it only has like 13 episodes. I considered doing a watch of it at some point. Just with other people and it just never happened. So that little, that little morning theme has stuck with the games for at least these three. Because even though uh, Majora's Mask used the classic Zelda theme for Termina Field, it still had the Sun Song introduction. And this game has it for the start of the Great Sea Track. need it, but... submarine around here. This would be a lot harder without a sword. Glad we found one. Oh, can I deal with those, though? I might have to, like, uh... Either get fancy or else find something to throw at him. Like pots. I guess they have they have vulnerability moments. They try to prevent you from mashing in this game by having a periods where enemies are invulnerable. And then they follow up those invulnerable moments with like immediate counterattacks. It's just more annoying than anything, though. I should really be able to attack enemies while they're down on the ground. Also makes the combat very slow when you have to wait for the quick time events. I might need that fairy. Yeah. 
Yep. Well, I'm glad I got it. Ow. Are there more of you? No, we're good. Oh, not you. I need hearts. Well, there we go. More uh, useless rupees. I don't even have a use for Tingle in this version. Because all he would... He translates charts, but I've set all the charts to be useless, so... Alright, submarine is a heart container. Alright. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Could have sworn you learned an attack that lets you jump down and stab enemies on the ground. You don't learn any attacks in this game. Other than the, uh, the super spin. You just have everything immediately. Alright, and uh, immediately, like, right next to each other, we got the, the, the one die, the Cyclops Reef. What do we got there? We got the island and we got a, another lookout platform. Bomb break. Ow. Boats first. Boats are more of a threat than the cannons. I feel like I just jinxed myself. Fighting the cannons. Maybe. Maybe not. It's fine. They're not a threat. I keep wanting to press A on a boat. I don't know what I think it's gonna do. Ah, one got me. I also don't know when it will happen, because we are still pretty much at a rate of, like, one group event per weekend. But uh, I do want to do a Worms stream at some point. I got it for, uh, I got it for Elf King and Illatox. Now, I know you have it, Darian, so we could do, like, uh, we could do a group session at some point. Oh boy, that's all the way in the middle. Where is a good place to glide to that? the highest point and the lowest point. It was in Skyward Sword. Oh, okay. I'm sure we'll get through Twilight Princess. 
another five years or so. Man, Zelda games got long after a point. I kind of worry that there won't be another Zelda game that I'll enjoy after these three. Oh, that's not I tried to I tried to glide with the sail. Man. Oh, I gotta walk around again. That sucks. Maybe if I drown, it will put me back where I just where I last touched land. It doesn't work that way, does it? Let's find out. Oh no, it puts me back on the boat. Hopefully it doesn't respawn everything. It doesn't seem to have. Oh, nope, it did. Alright, well, hard mode, activate. It's still there, right, the chest? I think the chest is still there. <laughs> what did you think of Twilight Princess, Darian? Have you played it? I feel like I might enjoy Skyward Sword more, just because at least there's, like, lore going on. Whereas Twilight Princess, I just, it, it's, it's very bland to me. I'm not interested in the story or the gameplay, so there's just kind of nothing left. Also, there's, like, actually colors in Skyward Sword, so that's, that's nice. In Breath of the Wild, I have no idea if I'll enjoy or not. There we go. Alright, piece of heart. Back to the boat. What else is there here? There's a lookout platform. We're in the bottom right, so it is probably in the top left of the map or some such. Had more fun with Link's crossbow training. Wasn't that originally going to be, like, the battle system in Twilight Princess? Or am I misremembering? It was Link's crossbow training. Or maybe it was that they didn't feel Twilight Princess utilized the Wii motion controls enough, so they made a separate game for it. I don't remember the details. I'm sure we- I'm pretty sure we got a Did You Know Gaming or two recently that delved into uh, the production of Twilight Princess and Link's crossbow trading. I have the, uh, the recent remake of Skyward Sword, so I guess I'd be obligated to play that version. Oh, great. Goddess Tingle. It's eerily quiet. 
after Goddess Tingle. Got any magic for me? There's some. I feel like we could have some dedicated night tracks in Zelda games. At least on the on the these three. I don't remember for Twilight yet. But for Ocarina Majora and Wind Waker, they just cut the music at nighttime, so there's just silence. Miyamoto was stingy about them putting bosses in the game. In what game? Link's Crossbow Training? So, there's a chest here, but I might need... F I might need full magic to get to it. Maybe these have some magic for me. Actually, I think there's grass up there. There's rocks. Give me magic. Do I not need the hook shot to get up? Is the question. It says I can access it now, the chest on this island. Which, for reference, the chest is, I think, up on that ledge. Now that ledge, there it is. So I need to get to a place up high where I can glide to it. Which I believe normally I would hook shot up to that tree. However, I do not have the hook shot, so I'm wondering how it thinks that I can get it. I can't just walk up that, can I? Like, even though that's grass, that's a wall, right? Yeah, that's pretty wally. Yeah, I might have to come back to this one. Rip. Alright, what else we got? We got three eye reef. All the all the dice islands. Is that just all we're doing today? I, like many, hope they go in, in a, uh, you know, darker... A little deeper direction with Breath of the Wild 2. Or, sorry, Tears of the Kingdom. But we'll see. How many, how many like, direct sequels have we had? In the, in the history of Zelda. We had Zelda 2, which was... I, I would argue a little bit darker than Zelda 1. Not super by design, I guess. It just kind of turned out that way. Majora's Mask, obviously. Link Between Worlds. Which I don't think was significantly... Like, they didn't set out to make a, a more adult game with that one. It was more an attempt at, like, a return to form for Zelda. A, you know, a big appeal to fans of Link to the Past. Which there remain many of them. I, 
kind of wish there were more fans of Zelda 2 so that we could get like a uh, an updated version of that like a good one like they really they really spend the time to work out the kinks of the systems of that game and make a proper like uh, like 2D platforming Zelda adventure game I think that would be great there's not many of us. Like, in terms of Zelda game styles, like Ryan's styles, I first prefer 3D Zeldas, and then whatever Zelda 2 was, and then the top-down 2D Zeldas just aren't for me. Sorry, 2D Zelda fans. You can have your cake. I don't want any. Like the the freedom of mobility and the sword play is a big part of it for me, and I just don't really feel that with a top-down perspective. Miyamoto was the one who insisted on Link's crossbow training while the team were pushing for a Twilight Princess sequel. That probably would have done gangbusters. Because Twilight Princess was, as I recall, at the time, the most successful Zelda game ever. It was huge in America, and Japan also liked it as well. Whereas, as opposed to this game, which was... more focused on Japan. J Japan liked it on launch more than America did. And then they followed Twilight Princess up with Skyward Sword that didn't really mesh with anyone that much. Oh, okay, Command Melody. That is probably the best song we could have found. That's a progression item. Well, this was worth coming to. Where's my boat? Nintendo has a long history of sabotaging themselves by insisting on innovation too much. Innovation's great. I love Nintendo and their innovations. It's just they push it a, a little bit to their detraction sometime, sometimes. Like, it doesn't always benefit them. It's ice cold take. Everyone listening to this is probably very well aware of, of that. Thought I'd preach to the choir anyway. Mention this every single time it comes up, but man, I would love a new F-Zero game. Because it, was, it wasn't a gimmick-heavy game, it was just a racing game that was very, very, very well made. It was, a little, it was a little innovative. It had stuff that you couldn't do in other racing games. It was very high speed while also being very tight. You had side swipes and spin outs. You attack people in ways that didn't... That weren't RNG dependent. Which, as I've always said, is my big complaint with Mario Kart. I don't like Mario Kart. Because it's all RNG. And it sucks. And no one else seems to care but me. Imagine ditching the Twilight sequel, the Twilight Princess sequel, for a fucking arcade target practice minigame. Oh, and then they're like, oh, Link's crossbow training isn't doing well. I guess people don't want realistic Zelda. All right, back to cell shading. What am I doing here? Western Fairy Island. Oh, it's the lookout platform. I can't do the island itself yet. Nothing to hit that with. Where's my boat?
Uh, even Diddy Kong Racing did more to like innovate and take risks and try to push the kart racing genre a little bit. But we're not getting, we don't get any more of those. We got a DS version that was pretty cool. People like that, but uh, there's just not a lot of reason in Nintendo's eyes to have multiple racing series when everyone's buying Mario Kart. Might as well just put all the eggs in Mario Kart. I don't think I need to be doing this. Like, the chest is right there. There's only one item here. And it's a heart piece. Alright. Well, that's checked. Nice visiting all- well, I should- I should kill these guys. I need magic. I consistently don't hit the third sword attack in my string. I wonder if there's some timing thing I'm missing. I should have caught that. Skyward Swords Vigils are nice. Skyward Sword and uh, Breath of the Wild both have a sort of, like, cell shaded thing going on. And I'm not as crazy about it as most people are. I don't necessarily need ultra-realism like Twilight Princess, but, uh... Hey, Boomer here. I, I, I just liked N64, where, uh, You know, things were shaded. They looked nice. It, it had, uh, a style that was kind of its own. It wasn't full anime, and it wasn't full realism. Oh, no, it's gonna want me to go to the... It's gonna want me to have magic and glide to these, isn't it? I don't want to do that. I don't have magic. There's also a cave near here. What island is this? Rock Spire Isle. Oh, I don't want to hang out on this ladder. I'm gonna get Gwaid. Magic, yes! The sword strikes. Feel so inconsistent in this game. Why is he invulnerable on the ground? Ah! Alright, neighbor. Oh, hey, great! Mutter up, Pearl! What if all three of these are the pearls? What if they're just on these three lookout platforms? Could happen. It's not impossible. Come on, fill me up. No. Well, I'll do the easier one first, because I'm a baby. Alright, going east. Get my leaf out. I don't know if I actually need the... the air current for this. But I'll try to hit it. And fail. Please don't bomb me. Alright. Easy mode. Get out of here. Okay, bye. He kipped up right off the edge. I believe there are bombs over here. And this is the eastern lookout platform. Sorry, not bombs, uh, cannons. Yes, magic. I need that. There they are. The, uh, boomerang can also take these out. However, I do not have it yet. <gasps> Almost made a boo-boo. Alright, now I just gotta turn around without jumping. There we go. 
Oh, and I got full magic, too. Great. Alright, orange rupee. Boy, it could take me, like, hours to find bombs in this randomizer, but once I do, but they're just in every pot. Weird, that. Well, now I have the magic to make an attempt at this side. And this area just kind of sucks because... I only really have one shot before I don't have enough magic for a second one. I might have enough for two attempts. But uh, there's no way to get more magic. So... If I don't get this... I will have no choice but to leave and just come back later when I once again have magic. No, stay looking forward. Ganon, please! I'm gonna detour if I need to, but I need to catch this. Yes, yes! I need to catch it, but I also need to get under the roof. Man! Okay, you know what? I'll land on the roof. And I'll do this. I'm gonna be smart. Yes! Yes! Ah! Perfect. Yeah, get off. Ow. I don't want to fall off here. That'd be bad. I'm so scared of Bokoblins, not because they themselves are a threat, but because of this game's weird combat mechanics. Because I am not allowed to kill them in a swift and efficient manner. Platform. What do we got? We can still get two pearls here. Oh, hey, that's even better, arguably. Well, we need we need both of those actually, but the hook shot is great. That opens up a bunch of stuff. We can now do that uh, that uh, great fish aisle in the intended way. We don't have to learn whatever way it thinks I can do it without the hook shot. This is an extremely lucky run. We're making great time. Where am I going? Why is he facing that way? I guess I wasn't facing the right way. Yeah, he did it again! Why is he turning? Island. I like that most islands are like a little a little challenge. A little self-contained challenge for nothing good, usually. Most of these are just like heart containers or rupees, but you know, if there was something valuable behind them, that'd be great. 
That's kind of like how, uh, like Korok puzzles are kind of like this in Breath of the Wild, right? Mm. I'll get it, eventually. How come they explode on contact when my boat fires them, but not when I throw them? We also still have the other sploosh guy, the one on the island. But that's way easier and less luck dependent than, uh... than the battleship game. Alright, we got green Deku sticks. What is this cave? Is this a series of fights? Or is this it? Is this the whole cave? Okay, it's one fight. You know what? Yeah, come and get it. You want some more? I got hearts. I got help to spare. In fact, y'all are giving me more of it. I can just do this as many times as I want. I'm bored of doing it now. It would be a lot easier if I had the bow, but whatever. They also conveniently do not go into the torches and become fire keys. Rock Spire Isle, cave item. What do we got? Our piece? Is there anything big that opened up? Not really, even with the hook shot. Just a couple of little things scattered all over the place. <laughs> Well, the next place is a ways off, so we might as well go back down to Great Fish. Get that one chest we missed. Hello, Jeter. I don't think we can get anything at the Golden Beetle shop yet, because those items are more than 200 rupees. And we fa haven't found any wallet upgrades yet. Boy, I would love to not have to go into any temples. That would, that would be great. We already went and won. I don't want to go in again. Wait, what? This, oh, huh? Why, why are these trees not hookshottable? Every other tree in the game is. I think what I need to do is boat over to that island, and there's a path up that I can then use to leaf a few times. However, I do not have the magic, so I still can't do this. Double magic, increased magic is actually a progression item in this randomizer. At least in so, in so far as for one item, the, uh, the Rito flying game, the gliding game. I 
Uh, yeah, it's just me doing this randomizer, Jeter. Jack has been uh, less available of late. Both for work and for mental health reasons, so. I don't do a ton of solo streams because they're not my favorite to do, but I enjoy Zelda randomizers enough to do this. Where am I going? I am going to Eastern Fairy Island as my next stop. There's quite a lot of uh, just dead islands we can't do anything at yet. So the main items we still need, I guess we might not need to activate the Tower of the Gods. So the three pearls are not necessarily required. Because uh, the end of the game is not in the Tower of the Gods, it's in Hyrule. So we just need the the fully awakened sword and the light arrows, and that's pretty much it. Alright, Eastern Fairy Island. I haven't visited the ferry yet, and there's a lookout platform. We are potentially planning a watch party tomorrow. Might be a watch party, might be Jackbox. Kind of leaning towards the watch, which we haven't done uh, a group watch in a long time. I think the last one was Rhapsody Street Kids, that terrible 3D animated Christmas movie. And unfortunately, it had technical issues. The video's still up, but uh, it's, it's a little weird watching because of the delay issue. And then before that was the Mario movie, which we lost the footage to. Alright, treasure chart. Great, thanks, fairy. You're a pal. Worthless. I'm gonna steal one of your children and leave. What a little cheeky grin he's got when he's holding an item. Alright, is that my lookout platform that I'm looking at? Boy, it sure is. I haven't got the grappling hook yet. It's a very important find in Seas where you do have the sea rings active. Since it grants access to all of those. Less significant otherwise, probably now on par with the hook with the hook shot. Just grants access to a few areas. Like I couldn't progress further in the uh, Dragon Roost cavern without it. I hate how often they go on the ground. Uh, if you're invulnerable on the ground, you can at least stay on your feet more often. Like, they know. They know that I can't- I won't hit them while they're on the ground. Maybe Wind Waker Link. Wind Waker Ganon is just too nice. He just refuses to hit a downed enemy. Yellow rupee. A lot of wasted rupees. I mentioned this in the Twilight Princess streams. Like, they tried to make it feel like less of a waste when you got a rupee you couldn't carry by 
Link puts it back in the chest, but even then... It still doesn't really matter because there's nothing to spend rupees on. Like, so what if he puts it back in the chest? You're not gonna come back for it later. Okay, let's see. Fire Mountain. That's the fairy island. I can't do Fire Mountain itself yet, but... There's a lookout platform around here. I guess that's actually six items. Because they are progressive, I need to find all three bow locations. Like the bow, fire and ice arrows, and then light arrows. And I need to find all three sword locations. Actually, I guess it's four sword locations. There's the base sword, the master sword, the half-awakened sword, and the fully awakened sword. So seven total items required. And I think the passage to Hyrule only opens once you have all eight Triforce pieces, which we started with. Anyway, delivery bag. All right, so that's good. Now we can actually access that one letter that we have and any others that we might find. Double chesting. Ow. Another heart. We still don't have the bait bag, so we can't use any of the Hyoi pears. We don't have any of the dungeon songs, or most of the dungeon access items. We're actually still locked out of pretty much all of the dungeon stuff. for this swift sail. This would go so much slower if I'd always be changing the direction of the wind. I think even in the wind it goes faster than it does in the base game. Hello, don't mind me. Just here to rob you. Alright, worthless. Y'all were not worth robbing. See you later. Flight control platform. I don't think we can do that yet because we don't have the extra magic. But we can take on that submarine at least. Yeah. Without Tingle, we really have nothing to spend rupees on, except for the Golden Beetle items. Which, again, I think are more than 200 each. How does Ganon have submarine technology in a debatably medieval fantasy world?
Oh boy. I guess I just have to wait for the Mintilla run. That, that's not too bad. Get me some goo. Oh, those are the red ones. Again, impossible to tell which chew is which in this version. Alright, come down here. There you are. Are those Boca Blends? I don't remember which enemies are which. No, these are something else, right? Are these infinitely spawning? I think these are just here to annoy me while I fight the wizard. Wizards? Are there two of them? I also don't know if I can hit the wizard. But it thinks I can do this now, so... I must be able to do something to him. Oh, hookshot, obviously. I forgot that I now had a projectile weapon. A very weak one, but it is technically doable. Alright, where are you? We haven't fun yet. They're just here to distract the Z-targeting. <sighs> Why? I just want the world to not be flooded. Why am I facing so much resistance? Got one. I wanted to get an early hit with a pot. Yeah, he's so, he's got to put his sword away. It makes it so slow. There's hook shot. Got him. No more, please. I was going to let you live. Are they still coming? Or did one of them just run away, maybe? Well, that sure was a fun gameplay experience. I don't think the uh, grappling hook damages them. I once got the grappling hook as my first item in a run. And so the only things that I could kill were keys. I had to build my way up. I think I got the hook shot after that. Maybe the bow, megaton hammer. It was a while before I got the sword. Once you have the sword, you can deal with most enemies. Hmm. Alright, Dragon Roots item. There's that chest on top of Boulder again. There's the platforms around the island. There's Baito, which we still don't know for sure how to do. Maybe maybe the hookshot will reach the reach the chest. I guess the Deku Leaf might. I don't know if I can use that to set off bombs. No, the hookshot's not going to reach all the way up there. There's no way.
No, I, I cannot aim the Deku Leaf. Yeah, I don't know what they, uh... I don't, I don't know what they expect me to do with that. Fly across platforms around island. Yeah, it says I can do it with just bombs. Weird. It tells you what items are required for a check to become available in the uh, in the tracker. I'll just I'll come back here in the future. Sorry, am I boring you, boat? I don't really want to do any more Deku Leaf stuff than I have to before I have a magic upgrade. I just like to avoid that. All right, let's go to Paw Print Isle. We did the Choo Choo stuff. However, there's apparently a Wizrobe Cave as well. I feel like this game on the whole would benefit from uh, prioritizing the camera being, like, back at this angle more often. It gets real close. You really cannot see the horizon in the default camera angle, which is kind of important in this game. Not even on just uh, on these great C-sections, just in general, being able to see incoming enemies and things. Is this the right place? No, I went past... Oh, I went past uh, Paw Print. Where'd I miss it? Get me up there. Oh boy. Oh boy, do I want to do this with a hook shot? This seems like a bad idea. I'll try it. Oh, they're strong whiz robes too. They take more than four. This is the epitomization of technically possible, but a terrible idea. So, once I defeat this one, there's going to be a set of two, and then a set of three whiz robes. And I'll have to fight them with other enemies swarming the room and distracting my... my targeting. Okay, it's just slimes. So maybe I can more or less ignore them. At least for a, for a little while. I can't actually fight the slimes. Oh, now there's green keys. Is that though? That's what the fire keys look like. Watch. You doubt me. You know what? I'll bet I can... Maybe I can deal with that guy with the leaf. Or with bombs. Yes! 
Leaf works. And now that it's just one, he won't be able to spawn enemies. This is still just medium mode. There, I think there's a wave of three of them after this. It's such a piddly fight with the hook shot. What a pathetic excuse for combat. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep these two in check. Nope. They distracted my... Okay. Okay. All three of them summoned enemies. Got him! What a beautiful shit show this room is. Oh, come on! Fortunately, one will not summon enemies again until whatever enemies they summoned are completely removed. Oh, there's a there's a moblin. Of course there's a moblin. I don't think I have a fairy. That moblin could kill me at any moment. Nope. Okay, I got it. I should deal with that moblin or I'm just I'm going to die. Also get a little health. That would be good. Yes, give me that health. You doubt me, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the very best. down. Ooh, feather. God damn it! Distracting bird! Give me some hearts. I need hearts. Mm, yeah, we're doing it. Actually, I want to keep you alive. You're fine. Alright, that one just fired. Maybe this one's ready to appear. No! I get him. Bit by bit, I'm gonna wear him down. The little spiky guys are nice because they don't eat up my cursor or deal damage. Oh, there's a moblin again. Give me hearts. Mm, give me hearts, please. Target something else, please! Mm. 
This is intense. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna- I don't have a fairy. I'm gonna take one more hit. I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna have to do all this over again in the future. Probably with actual weapons next time, but where's the fun in that? <sighs> this moblin. He's the only one I really gotta worry about as, like, a threat to my life. If they, like, regenerated health, this would be impossible. Bit by bit. It is happening. health. Give me hearts. No, not rupees. Hearts. Birds! remaining. Fire all around me. I don't want to hookshot him. He's gonna kill me. Nope. He's so close. I'm so close to getting at least one of them down. <sighs> Half a heart. One of them's down. Are there any enemy drops? I need health. I need it bad. There's the one on the ledge from the wizard that I can't reach. Two down. I could hookshot it. Is it, is it... Are they all dead? Did I get all three? No, I didn't. Oh, I did have a fairy. Oh, that's a, that's a load off. The leaf does not work on moblins. Are we done? I still gotta deal with that one spiky guy. Alright, come here. I own this room now. I'm making this my house. All that for an orange rupee. Well, you know what? At least I can take this with me. I'll take not worth it for 500, Alex. <laughs> Is there anything else we can do on Windfall? We don't still don't have a spoils bag. 
Oh, we do have a spoils bag. All right, so I can give Miss Mar Miss Mari Miss Marie a uh, joy pendant. I should save. Haven't done that in a little while. Oh, and we can do the mail stuff now as well. As well as Zunari's shop. What wonder what triggers that. Maybe having one of the pearls? A very creaky boat for being alive. We don't have the pictograph box yet, so we can't... There's a, quite a few items you get from taking pictographs for, for uh, people in town. Hello? Here for a drink. Where's the postman? Could have sworn the postman was in here. You're not the postman, are you? Maybe he's only here during the day. I can fix that. Postman, you are not he. I need to trigger a flag or something? I, t I talked to the... I talked to the rich father and Maggie already. The now rich father. Maybe I need to, uh... Maybe I need to go in there when... Like the postman cutscene happens. All right, well, let me visit Miss Marie first. Miss Marie. I'm gonna go with that, Miss Marie. Hey, have this. Useless. Nothing. I think I have to go up the ladder? This town is confusing. Oh, up the stairs. Where's the postman? I've been in here already. I talked to them. Hmm. 
it says that I just need the bag in Maggie's letter, which I have, so... I guess I just need to put it in a mailbox? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I think I need to put it in the mailbox. Wait, no, I have the Moblin's letter. I don't have Maggie. I, okay, that's what it is. So I triggered... I, I selected the wrong thing in the tracker. I, I don't have Maggie's letter. I have the Moblin's letter. Which means... I can talk to Maggie and give her this for a reward. Sir, what do you think of this? Okay. Hey! another tingle statue so that's something hmm. it's not great but it could in theory be a progression item if we get five of them then we get something which in the base game is I think it's a 500 rupee but it's replaced with a random item in this So, I guess the Goron trade quest is enabled. I thought it wasn't. Because it was included with the pool that included the, uh... The... what was it? The, the trees. Maybe it's just a mistake in the tracker. Maybe you don't have to worry about that. So I'm not going to, unless I later have to. Moving on. Spectacle Island. Finally, something to spend rupees on. We're still missing a boat. We have only one of the seven mandatory finds, so there's still... There's still a lot we need to do. Here we go. I mean, who did he who do you think he mistook me for? All right, 10 shots. I only need 5. I only need 6. I only need seven. I, 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 I might need all of them. I thought I was going to be so cool.
As I recall, they're all in angles of five degrees. Okay, so that's probably a 25 one. And then that would be a 30. There's a little bit of leeway, like one degree or so. No, that was a 35. Oh, it's 50 per game. Well, this is definitely something to spend rupees on. Alright. I'm gonna guess this is a... 30. 20. Thirty. Boy, this makes it a lot easier doing the five angle thing. Or five degrees. That looks like a forty. Maybe forty-five. Piece of heart. You got one more thing for me. I want more stuff. You're holding out on me. I don't think there's any special condition to getting the second prize. You just have to do it twice is all. Two pieces of heart. Great. It's better than rupees, but not much. I guess having hearts is good for uh, situations like that wizard cave. I don't know how many more of those there are. Especially since the, uh, the what's it, the savage labyrinth is disabled. What else we got? Oh, Mother and Child Isles. We could have gone to that immediately. Maybe not. What's required for that? Nothing? I thought you had to do something before this fairy would give you an item. I think in the base game, this is where you get the fire and ice arrows. Oh, it's no longer a fairy. The, uh, weird small child fairy has been replaced with a simple chest. With another bottle. Alright. Well, I can take two of them. No, I don't need water. Don't think there's any use for water in this game. There's the Forest Haven water, which somewhat famously can one-shot the uh, Forbidden Forest boss, if you get it there in time. Cool but useless, as they say. Alright, so that's two empty bottles. No items at the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, I guess those would be, uh... Those would be a dungeon, technically. I think it categorizes the, the, them as a dungeon. Maybe I shouldn't have flown here. 
I gotta fly somewhere else. You know what? I'll just fly in the fortress. That seems like a good idea. That four-eyed reef down south. Excuse me. I'll just be on my way. No boomerang yet, either. That would be a nice thing to have. Deal with, uh... Flying enemies. Angle. There's a sharp shooting cannon. Shoot up, please. Ah. Boy, it would suck to run out of bombs on one of these. Alright, how am I getting to that? I'm gonna guess that I have to go all around the circumference of the island, because they like to do that to me. Might be able to make it from here. Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. If I don't, I might not have enough magic for the the right way. Please get up. No! Okay. Well, I still have enough magic, so. That's another thing that is, uh, the boomerang would be useful for, is, uh, actually getting items on the water. I think the hookshot will retrieve them, but... Quite a bit less convenient. Ganondorf runs along ocean rocks while ocean waves play in the background. ASMR. Why's he got one little tuft of hair on the left just sticking out? Has he got like a little ponytail? Oh, it's... it's Okay, it's one of his hair dongles blowing in the way that the wind happens to be blowing. Alright. Is this really... Is, it's slightly closer, I guess, but... if I don't make this one. 
All right, we're good. Uh, okay. Progression item, Wind God's Aria. We now have all but one of the songs. Hmm. We're just missing the Earth God's lyric. We still can't access that particular temple, so... Doesn't help us that much, but... can't get into the Forbidden Woods, because we don't have the Swing Shot. Can't do Tower of the Gods, because we don't have the Pearls. The Earth Temple, we can technically get into. Maybe we can get one item in the Earth Temple. Maybe that one item is a chest with a key, and maybe that will open up all of the other Earth Temple items. Let me at least finish my sweep of the sea first. Currently on Star Island. The Isle of David. Where there is a cave and a lookout platform. I think what I would most like to get right now would be the bow. Okay, it's not wizards. Is more. This still seems a lot easier than the wizard cave, though. Oh, it's like Smash. If I don't go through the whole combo, they won't get knocked over, and I can beat them faster. I just gotta jab lock them. Combo's bad. Rhythmic timing good. Stick. Hey! Why is he invulnerable while he's dancing comically? Was that necessary? Why are there so many iframes in this game? The brochure said there'd only be a few iframes. Why are there so many iframes? What 
are you? You are worthless. What well, treasure chests are treasure chests? Treasure charts are even worse than getting rupees. Cause I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do those. Where's my boat? There's my boat. And where's the lookout platform? There's the lookout platform. Is there just a chest waiting for me up here? Usually that's the case when it just says lookout platform. Yep, just here. I'm just gonna take this and leave. All right, well, no. Magic armor. Useless. Cool, but useless. That was Star Island. Going to the right, we got Northern Fairy Island. Why is there bombs everywhere? Is that just all they do all day in the Forsaken Fortress is fire bombs randomly in the ocean nearby? Just leave them floating there. I think that's the only place they spawn is within a couple tiles of the Forsaken Fortress. I think there's some Octoroks that might give items that I would require the grappling hook for, because I still can't fish in the sea yet. Alright, great fairy. What do you got? Why do they explode? Yes. Treasure chart, 10 rupees. Yeah, treasure chart. Why do I visit you guys? Listen how mad he sounds when he jumps. I'd be mad too. Alright, and then there's a submarine around here. Boy, the N64 games, I feel like I've pretty... I've mostly memorized. I still might have to use, like, some tra... Uh, like, non-map trackers. Just because there's a lot of stuff. Especially with, like, the, all the rupee checks. Which I think is now in Ocarina randomized as well. But, uh, this game... I don't think I'll ever memorize, like, everything in this game. It's just way too big compared to those two. I'm gonna have to use a tracker every single time I play it. Okay, what do we got? We got swinging ropes that I can swing on, but will there be anything for me on the other side if I don't fight the moblins? I feel like it's going to force me to fight the moblins. But then I also wonder why they would put these swinging ropes here if they didn't want me to use them. Worst case scenario, I have to, like, clear out the room of enemies in order for the chest to spawn and then swing across. In which case, I would be doing this in the worst possible order. Again. 
takes forever to do stuff on ropes in this game. It's very not fun. Really could have been refined. Okay, good. Uh, bottle number three. Sure are getting a lot of boat a lot of bottles. We've gotten three bottles and no bows. Don't mind me, just on my way out. No thank you. Ah, you idiots can't climb. Let's see. It's Northern Fairy Island, Gale Isle, which we can't do anything on yet. What temple is in Gale Isle? We have the iron boots, so we can walk into the temple. Oh, but we can't. We need the hammer in order to smash the thing, creating the wind. I think. We can't bomb it, can we? here, hold my bomb up, which does not get blown away because I have excellent grip strength. No, I need the hammer. Alright, bye. Recently thinking about trying to buckle down on voiceover work. See if I can really make a profit off of that. Maybe I just haven't looked hard enough for where the work is at. It's hard to find the time and energy while driving a school bus because it's a very draining job. Crescent Moon Island. Oh, hey, double magic. Great. Well, that makes everything relating to leaf gliding more convenient. And what else is there here? There's a submarine. Is that it? Hey! What are you doing out here? Nothing good, I'm sure. <laughs> Just a gauntlet? Oh, it's this submarine. Not that that's a voice of dread, because the, these guys are not threats, but... In fact, I get to... If I can get a chance to start it up, I can actually use the hurricane spin. Oh, wait, is it just a timer? I just have to survive? Oh, that's lame. I can just run in circles. Yeah, that's, that's really it. Every previous time that I've done the submarine, I just, I fought the guys the whole time because there's no reason not to.
And you just don't have to. They just spawn infinitely. Okay. Bomb upgrade. That's also useful. This was a good map tile. I like this map tile. Oh, now they leave. Hmm. Eh, shit, he got the bomb upgrade. Our job's done. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Look at them walking through the walls. What are they doing? They're just, they're flick, they're freaking out. They're like rabbits. Hmm. Oh, those wacky little guys. Seven Star Isle. Oh, this was one of the ones that had lookout platforms. Except I couldn't access one of them last time? Why couldn't I access it? No leaf? Probably didn't have the leaf. Oh no, it was because I didn't have a way to uh, kill the whiz robe that was floating in the air. I mean, a good way. I had bombs, but... Better sword would be nice. I am doing a lot of combat. Two of them on this one. They're all just hanging out towards the middle. goes back and forth. He's never gonna come to the middle, is he? Well, he'll come close enough to hit, eventually. Alright, southern platform. Give me arrows. Give me something good. Plenty of hearts, plenty of health. Got plenty of health, plenty of magic. It's not a bad thing. Where's my boat? And then Overlook Isle. Now, I think we've been here. I think this was the cave with the bio with the babas, but we didn't have a way to, or we, I, I didn't know the way to deal with them without a sword or hookshot last time. Maybe, or maybe we just haven't been here yet. No, because we need the hookshot to get into the cave of this island. Leave me alone. I missed. No, please. Please. Ganon, please. Okay. I'm fine. Well, 
that's the ca cave, but what's up here? Nothing? Just pots? Alright. Take some rupees, I guess. Oh, this is a combat cave. There's a lot more combat in general in this game than the N64 ones. Not that they were particularly lacking in combat. This game just definitely focuses more on it, I feel. Items. I don't think they drop anything that good, though. Oh, bomb refill. Under 200 rupees for the first time in a long time. After that uh, barrel minigame. It's gonna turn out the only item that we needed this entire time was behind that uh, postman I didn't know how to do. Or something stupid. Oh, hello. I haven't encountered you guys yet. Aha! You fool! If I pull out a bomb at the right time... Oh, I can hit my own bomb to detonate it. That's great. Actually, if I can just get one of these guys, then I can get his club, and that makes dealing with the other one quite a bit easier. Alright. Oh, he, pulled, he took his arm off. I forgot he does that. Yeah, you gonna nunchuck me? Yeah, take that. Oh no, I dropped it! I need that. the iframes. They made the club swinging much faster in this version. Did they? I don't remember how fast it used to be. There we go. I don't like these this game's Stalfos. Like, props for trying to make them more unique than another sword and shield enemy, I guess, but... Boy, they're a pain to fight. Just tedious and time-consuming. Kind of like most fights in Wind Waker. I'm sorry, someone loves this game to death, and they're just, they don't want to hear me shitting on the battle system. It's fine. It's not perfect, but it's fine. Oh, hello. My favorite enemy. I need my hookshot. These are the enemy summoning variety, too. Don't target them, please! 
if there were a better targeting mechanism in this game. Uh, it's not the fact that they summon enemies, it's the fact that the enemies distract from the automatic targeting system. That's the only reason these guys are awful to fight. Target the wizard! I'm mad. I don't like these guys. These enemies upset me on a spiritual level. doing his stupid summoning dance. Look at him summoning his stupid birds. down. Wow, it actually targeted the right thing this time. Alright, where are you? Last hit. Three feathers, at least. I don't think I particularly need them for anything? No, there's a 20 feather item. I have to give 20 feathers to somebody. Well, this room was awful. In the base game, I'm sure this entire chamber was just for a heart piece. In this version, I'm sure it'll just be for a treasure chart. No, let me do the thing. I want- I want to spin. There's also more Miss Marie items for uh, 20 and 40 joy pendants, so it is worth it to continue collecting spoils. Oh, there's more. There's four of them? Come on! I'm just a wee little Ganon. I can't do this. Do I have- I do have fairies. I have two fairies, so you know, that's good. I can slowly disarm the lot of them. There's a bit much compared to the previous rooms. I think if you just smack their chests enough, the armor will come off. It takes quite a few hits, though. Ow. Boy, I'm hurting. I know what I'll do. I'll hook shot him. Yeah! Oh, that was a mistake! Yeah, 
Yeah, eat that. All right, just to just down to one. It's definitely more challenging than the combat in the 64 games. So a uh, mission accomplished there, but I wish they could have achieved the additional challenge without the annoying like iframe business. Alright, get some nice crests, knight's crests, get my health back. Play my Triforce song. Full on rupees again, just in time for me to get these chests, these pots. Alright, well that was a whole lot of nothing. What else can we get? There's a few items have uh, since become achievable, attainable down in the lower left of the map where we started. To revisit a couple of those islands, maybe I'll go into the temple that we do have access to, and then we'll call it. Which, what temple would we have access to? There's one more thing we have access to in Dragon Roost Cavern, but we can't do all of that until we have the, the swing shot, whatever it's called, the grappling hook. Earth Temple. Where's the Earth Temple? I remember that's the one with Medley, but I don't remember where the access point is. I think it's Blood. Pro I think it's Stone Watcher Island. Because I think the two temple access items are the Iron Boots and the uh, Power Gloves, the Gauntlets, whatever they're called. Bracelets. Y'all like golf? This was apparently a uh, very late addition to the game. According to one of the recent Did You Know Gamings. There was a lot of uh, devs just coming in to work on just random little silly silly island puzzles in, in their off time. That ultimately became some of these islands that otherwise would not have made it into the game in time. Out of here, P hat. Man. No, why you go that way? Oh, are you making all this? I was wondering where the enemy music was coming from. It was him or the P hat. I guess it's still coming from the P-hat. Sorry, the C-hat. Are 
He's just floating out there. Menacingly! I don't like this... This spot. Well, at least it regrows. That's good. This would- this island would be terrible if it didn't regrow. Come on. Yeah! If I remember correctly, you have to do this every- this- this puzzle resets every time you visit the island. Which they probably did so that you could play golf again if you wanted to. But boy, it's a pain if you, for example, go into this cave immediately before getting this chest. I'm gonna make a point to get the chest now, so that that doesn't happen. Alright. Golf. Skull necklace. Alright. I really couldn't you I couldn't pass because a small shrub is in the way. I had to use cut. Apparently, this is all supposed to be one guy. Just on 20 islands at once. I assumed it was a bunch of different ki different guys, because I don't know. It makes more sense for Beetle to be around in different places. He's in a boat. I forgot that the moth had a rocket jet. Stop shitting your children at me. Alright, cave item. What do we got? Give me a bow. <laughs> I love the Ganon spin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Controller? Why is my controller having it? No, I don't want to go to the... I don't want to go into the light. I might have to do the cave again. It might make me do golf again. Why is my controller messing up? Dolphin. Dolphin, please. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna get up to deal with this. Are we good? Okay, we're good. That was weird. All for naught. It's gonna be a sad day when this, uh, this GameCube controller bites it. I think I have some more. I think I have at least one more in good condition original GameCube controller, but they're not making these anymore. They're gonna run out someday. It'll be a sad day when the next Smash game doesn't support GameCube controllers. The day's gonna come eventually. What's on Windfall that I- sorry, Outset that I can do? Great Fairy. Oh, because I can glide to the, uh, glide to the forest now. Giving Orca Ten's Knight's Crest is disabled. Why is that? 
Oh, grappling hook. So the progression, the checks that require you to get drops from enemies, because the randomizer devs were nice, are not in logic until after you have the grappling hook, because you can use that to uh, grab items off of enemies. Otherwise, you might have to get, like, 40 joy pendants for a Miss Mari. Miss Marie and rely on just the RNG of the enemies dropping them. So that was nice of them. Now that we have uh, magic, double magic, we could do the, the gliding game. It's not something I enjoy doing, but it is something that... Uh, we could be required to do now. What are grandmas doing? You know what? I should give grandma a fairy. Remind me to do that before I leave. Hey, heal grandma, maybe get some soup from her. Yes. I am Ganon. I am he. It's Ganon's fan club. All these little, little, little goblin fellas love their master. They're like all, all the little jockins, all the little uh, bokuns of the world. I like the little yesmen characters. Maybe that's weird. They they usually turn out to be one of my favorite characters. Just a little dude who wants to do, do nothing but support the big cool dude they work for. Bokun in Sonic X, Jokin in Inuyasha. I'm sure there are others that I'm forgetting about. I remember seeing an artist who liked to draw... Maybe they had a webcomic that personified the pieces of the Triforce as, like, little fairies or something. And the Triforce of Power would, like, hang around and talk to Ganondorf, and it was, like, his only friend. There's nothing canon about it. I thought it was kind of sweet, though. There's also, apparently... Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so between part one and part two. Part two has Joseph, who is the grandson of part one's Jonathan. And there's just a skipped generation, a middle, a middle Joestar, George Joestar, who is apparently in a series of novels. And the novels feature something called Beyonds. They're not stands, they're Beyonds. And here's where it gets weird. There's only three of them. And they're the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And they're a whole, apparently a whole lot less, like, clear than Stan's? It's very ambiguous, probably attempts to be very philosophical. And I, it's all about religion. Basically, Dio is walking around with Jesus. That's, what, that's all I'm trying to say. First time Dio gets Jesus. Don't mind me just passing through. How many Knight's Crest do I have? Is it doing it again? It's doing the thing where it's forcing up again. Man. Also, I'm one Knight's Crest short. I almost have enough for Orca. Why is this happening? One sec.
Maybe if I remove the cord extender, maybe that's the problem. Now it's now it's always going down. Uh So up and down are being very selective about whether they want to work. I could try another GameCube controller, or I could use my regular controller, although I like to use GameCube controllers for GameCube games. It's very nice to be able to do that. What's my standard controller doing? It's working fine. Well, I guess I'll use that for now. We'll go give our... Uh, That's B, that's A, okay. We'll go wake up Grandma. I'll save and then I'll stop. I'll have to deal with these, uh, whatever's going on with the controller between streams. Just jump off the cliff, it's fine. He's young. Young dwarf. I don't know what my X and Y buttons are. I can probably guess. Granny? Granny Dwarf? Oh, she's sad. I know just what can perk her up. Fairies make everyone happier. Hello, Sandy. Oh, Ganon? Is that you, Ganon? Grandma is always happy to see your bright, shining face. Well, I love you too, Grandma. My dear, sweet Ganon. You're safe. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Did you heal me? You're such a sweet child. You and your sister are trying so hard to be strong. Grandma Ganon, this is weird. Alright, we got Grandma Ganon soup. Don't do anything reckless, alright? I won't. I just want to unflood Hyrule. That's all I want. Yeah, you caught the very end of the stream, Sandy. I've been going about two and a half hours, and my GameCube controller is on the fritz, so I am going to stop here and uh, figure that out for next time. Do a quick save. Always good to save. And go back to that sweet title screen tune. Alright. Well, that's it for today. We did two uh, Zelda randomized streams in a row. Uh, depending on what we do tomorrow, we might just have a watch, and then uh, the next stream might be another Zelda randomized. We didn't get too much done today. We got a few things. We got a hook shot. Hook shot's good. Got some songs. We're making progress slowly. Again, I figured this was going to be a pretty long stream, so buckle up. We'll, we'll more to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Whatever we end up doing. <laughs>